So now let's implement our function in Sublime Text. So we say def let our uh, function's name be title and we pass a parameter called string and the user will provide string. Okay, so that is the string that will be provided by the user. And uh, the first thing we have to do is to split the string into multiple words and we will keep it in a list called original words okay and we say string dot split nice and then we say then we have another list called the new words and we say let's keep it empty and uh, and in the new words we will put the uh, put the modified words okay and then we start a loop for word in original words Okay, for word in original words, that means we will iterate through each and every word of the string. And then we say for every word, there is a list which will contain all the alphabets of the current word. And the name of that list will be original alphabets. Okay, so the name of the list which will contain all the alphabets of the current word will be called original alphabets and again we will have an, a list called a new list oh, I'm sorry new alphabets alphabets which will be empty for the time being and and basically we will store the modified alphabets you know modified individual alphabets in here okay and then we check if the first uh, if the first letter or alphabet of the current word is in lowercase, if it is in lowercase, we we just convert it into uppercase. So we say if odd, and we say original alphabet zero because we are indicating to the first element. We are indicating the first alphabet, and the first element of any list is zero, you know, at the zero index. So we say we check more than uh, or equal to 97 and odd let's say original alphabets 0 less than equal to 122 if it is the case that means it is a lowercase letter and we we just convert it into uppercase by saying original alphabet 0 equal to um, care odd and then again we say original alphabet is zero right and then we just subtract 32 from it to convert it into uppercase and finally we say new alphabets dot append and then we say in here original alphabets zero okay so it really doesn't matter if original alphabet is you know uh, lower or upper because if it is lower it will be changed and if it is upper this will not get executed directly this will get executed okay just I have told you while uh, while giving you the overview of concept now after this, we will start a loop for uh, again alphabets, <coughs> alphabet in original alphabets, and we will continue from the next element to all the way up to the last. And then we say, then we check if any of the alphabet is in uppercase. If it is in uppercase, we just convert it into lowercase. So we check using odd and say alphabet more than equal to 65 right and odd alphabet 
less than equals to 90 that means if it is a if it is a uppercase character we say alphabet equals care odd and then we say uh, well alphabet plus 32 because we're going to convert it into lowercase so after converting into lowercase or after modification we again put it in the new alphabets so we say new alphabets dot append and we we just put it here alphabet okay so after this we are almost done now what we are going to do is we are going to take all the modified alphabets join it together and then put it in the new words list right so outside of the loop we say once the loop finishes that means all the you know all the alphabets are once modified and checked now we can safely say that new words dot append and then join it without any spaces that's why I didn't provide anything inside here okay if you if you do not provide anything inside here it will join without anything okay it will just join it without any space or any character so I say uh, new alphabets okay so after this we simply do one thing we say return new words oops we say return or join and we say new alpha uh, new new words okay because this is where both the modified words exist or you know all the modi all the modified words exist and we will join it using a single space okay so that so that's why i put a space here and I save it and now let's let's give it an example uh, let's say print title I am Shuho Deep. Now let's let's save it and let's run it. Boom! It worked. Nice. So we can see it 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 worked, right? So uh, see this one converted into uppercase. Again, um, this one also converted into uppercase. And again, this S also converted into uppercase. Now let's give some of the other examples print and you say title and you give let's take the first example hello world now save it and run it boom again it worked right so it's working perfectly and we are all done and why do you get this space why do you get this space let me explain once again so once you know this loop finishes this outer loop finishes executing up to this once this finishes executing the contents of new words are as follows it is hello and it is world right so if you join them directly without any space it will look something like hello world okay and if you give a space then only it will look like hello world and I will I will show this to you let me do this thing let me remove this space here you know we are joining new words that is all the words that is present in here and then returning it right so now now if I run it see what happens see there is no space between the words so this is the reason we have to provide a space in here so that the new words are joined with a space between them and uh, why 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 didn't i put a space in here you may ask the reason is we don't want the alphabets to have a space if i put a space in here and i save it and run it see what happens see we get an extra space we get spaces even between the alphabets which we do not want we want spaces between the words not between the alphabets right so this is the reason i didn't put a space in here just remove this and save it and keep it and boom it works perfectly so that was it guys if you face any problem any kind of uh, questions because 
this video is very very complex it is one of the most advanced you know uh, advanced things are done here these are actually interview questions which are asked in companies like Amazon Google okay and you have to answer it like these now let's open the camera So as you can see, uh, this is the actual process of uh, solving this problem. Okay, so this was quite complicated, I know, and it will take a while to understand all the concepts. So don't rush, don't be in a hurry, and as every time I say, go through the video, watch it again and again as much as you want to ask as many doubts as you want to ask me. I will be there to help you, and uh, most important about everything else is. Practice, practice and practice because these concepts will not be clear to you until and unless you devote time to Python. Because Python is relatively an easy language but that does not mean that you will sit back and relax and won't do any practice because Python requires practice. Python requires thinking which you will only gain if you practice, practice and practice. So devote time. Uh, to be very honest, this video is a 8 part video. Seriously, this video is an 8 part video and uh, it took me more than 3 days to you know just make it because uh, I was I was busy in my birthday then um, I was in my you know uncle's home grandparents home so this is the reason I am late I am really really sorry for that and the next video I will talk about some of the interview questions that are asked in you know big software development companies which will be based on arrays, tuples, all those stuffs and after that, after that we will move on to the last and final segment of Python data structures which is dictionaries. Dictionaries are very important and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe jumping to, maybe uh, before jumping to dictionaries, I will cover another concept, it is called Lambda functions and I will see it if you guys need it, I will definitely cover it and then I will jump on to dictionaries which will be the last data structure of Python and once you cover it, that uh, I can assure you, you can go to HackerRank, you can go to CodeChef, you can go to all the places uh, where you can code and practice and practice and practice because best and best of questions are available there and in order to solve them, you must know all of the data structures of Python properly because without these things, you can't do it, okay? So these are the fundamentals of Python which I'm going to complete by maybe, uh, maybe a week more okay so you're just one week you know remaining to complete the basic of python okay so practice and uh, again ask me if you have any doubts and i'll be there to help you so uh, and and yeah yeah one other thing so if we can implement these functions by ourselves why don't uh, you know uh, why why the developers or the engineers or the scientists or uh, Guido van Rusum itself gave us these many uh, methods like lower, upper, swap case, title, y. The reason is for rapid application development. It is called RAD. Now if I tell you to do a project within uh, five days or just say within a day, let's say I ask you to do a project within a day and you have to do a lot of string manipulation, you have to do a lot of append, you have to do many 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 different things so for every time you have you will have to write all these codes again and again like in uh, C like in C of course you can make it in a function you can do that but again writing your code your uh, own code from scratch requires much more time and much more you know uh, um, care than um, by default methods right because uh, let's say you have you have successfully written a, a function you don't know if it works properly in each and every condition right but the developers of python have tested it tested the built in methods rigorously before you know making it available to all of us right so this is the reason it is recommended to use uh, the built in functions rather than build your own one so you may ask why did you show us this because in interviews the interviewers will ask you questions like this they will ask you to implement uh, many different uh, methods of built-in Python which are already built in Python to uh, you know uh, you, you have to write them in uh, you know by hand you have to write them 
manually or you will have to write them by scratch so this is the reason i i thought that i should show you how to think in python this is how you think in python and thinking is very important in python because in python uh, python actually makes your lives easier but you will have to think a lot okay and it is always an advantage to know what's going on in the background uh, if if someone asks you that hey how swap case works and if a person does not know how it really works he or she will answer well uh, you know it it, it just um, it just makes the upper case to lower case and then it converts lower case to upper case that's it that's all he or she will say she or she will say the functionality or the task of that function but he or she will not be able to answer this question that how it actually does right so this is the reason i thought that i should show you to uh, you know i i should show how everything works in background so that you guys know and i will give you many more array problems which will definitely help you to uh, you know uh, further make you stronger in python your thinking you know your thinking will be more solid after doing those questions i can guarantee it so in the next video i will give you some of the array based questions and uh, and uh, i'm sorry i'm using the term array many times uh, basically list questions okay questions that are based on list and strings because these two are very very important much more important than tuples okay tuples are also important sometimes it is required but more important data structures are dictionary um list strings and sets they are much more important than tuples okay um so i will i i i see you in the next video so see you guys namaste bye